ancient Greece is credited with many inventions and discoveries, which have been adopted and developed further over time. Ancient Greek findings in the areas of astronomy, geography, and mathematics made them pioneers in the field of science, who are still revered today. The Greeks' interest in the science of the physical world can be seen in records as far back as the 6th century BC, earning them the title of the fathers of science, medicine, zoology, and many other areas. Here is a list of five amazing inventions from ancient Greece that are still used today. Number one, the anchor. Greece is a country which is almost synonymous with the sea. Greece is a mountainous and rocky environment, which led their people throughout history to look to the sea for their survival. Ships became an important part of the culture and were used for fishing, exploration and trade. The ancient Greek navy, particularly the Athenian navy, was a formidable foe due to their extensive training and hone tactics. As a result, shipbuilding was a highly valued profession. Master shipbuilders created some of the most technologically advanced ships in the ancient world and were devoted to constantly being improved. One of these improvements was the anchor. Ancient peoples would often throw large stones attached from ropes over the side of their ships to keep them steady. Even though it did work, it had some flaws. The stone would still drift slightly on the ocean floor. The ancient Greeks solved this by forging the first real anchors, which they called odontis, or teeth. They often used more than one at a time to keep their boats extra steady. Number two, the solar clock. Invented by the famous philosopher and teacher of Alexander the Great, Aristotle, or Aristoteles, who lived from 385 to 323 BC. The solar clock was one of the first known clocks in history and still works as an aesthetically pleasing timekeeping device today. This is the Aristoteles Park or Aristotle's Park in Chalkidiki, in Stagira, Chalkidiki, uh, Greece. This is where Aristoteles was born and in honor of his great statue and great wisdom and science they built this park which demonstrates some of his achievements. You can see here the solar clock. You can see the time is shown by the shade of this uh, long bar and in the center of that shade you can also see the month. So right now it says uh, 1440, uh, in fact the uh, summer time is 340, but uh, this is one showing uh, 3, uh, 240 because it's one time, one hour back. And the month of that little circle is on the month of September, which is September right now. Number three, the vending machine. Invented by Heron of Alexandria, who lived from 10 BC to 70 AD. Heron was a Greek mathematician and engineer who lived in Roman Alexandria. He described the world's first vending machine. His machine accepted a coin and dispensed a fixed amount of holy water. When the coin was deposited, it fell upon a pan attached to a lever. The lever opened up a valve which let some water flow out. The pan continued to tilt with the weight of the coin until it fell off, at which point a counterweight would snap the lever back up and turn off the valve. This allowed you to receive your cup of holy water after praying to your local Greek gods. Number 4. The Alarm Clock The ancient alarm clock was invented by Tisibius who lived from 285 to 222 BC in Alexandria. Tisibius started off his career as a barber, but later became an inventor and mathematician, who is regarded today as the father of pneumatics. Tisibus' alarm clock was called Klepsidra, which means water thief, 
and is said to have been used to time long-winded political speeches, and was even used by prostitutes to make sure their customers don't get any overtime. As the container fills, you can see where the water meets the lines, and it tells you how much time has passed. There was also a way of having a stick in the water, and as the water level rose, the stick would ring a bell, signaling your alarm. This was the most accurate alarm clock in the world up until the invention of the pendulum in the 17th century. Number 5. The Computer The Antikythera mechanism is an ancient, hand-powered, Greek analog computer. It was discovered in an ancient Roman shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera. Scientists believe, due to its complexity, there must have been many predecessors made during the Hellenistic period. At first glance, it looks like a set of rusted gears. But if you look into the machine, you will see it's made up of at least a do two dozen gears neatly laid on top of one another, calibrated with the precision of a master class Swiss watch. This level of technology is usually associated with the 16th century. Scientists debated what it was used for. Many theories say it was some kind of clock, calendar or calculating device. Some archaeologists believe it was a toy model of the planets, or an early astrolab device to calculate latitude. In 1959, a Princeton science historian, Derek de Sola Price, provided the most widely accepted analysis to date. After a thorough investigation of the device, he declared that the mechanism was used to predict the position of the planets and stars in the sky depending on the calendar month. All the user had to do was enter the main date on one gear, and through a series of subsequent gear turns, the mechanism could calculate things like the angle of the sun crossing the sky. It was a computer in the sense you could input a few simple variables, and it would yield a flurry of complicated mathematical calculations. Today, programming code is written digitally, with a series of zeros and ones. This ancient clock had its code written in the mathematical ratios of its gears. I could probably make an entire video based on modern theories, studies and examinations done on the Antikythera mechanism, so I'm going to save that one for another time. Thank you guys for listening. If you'd like more from History Leaks, please like and subscribe. And See you guys in the future. Take care.